So it has come to my attention that a lot of people believe that they may not have the time required to start with Airbnb arbitrage, to get into the Airbnb arbitrage business. Maybe they have a nine to five, maybe they have a previous job, um, something they're already committed to, and they don't know if they have the time to do this as a sort of side hustle to bring extra income. Okay, so this is cope. Thinking that you don't have time is complete cope. Every single person throughout history that's achieved great things, that's achieved nothing, it all has 24 hours in a day. We all have the same time, okay? So you're no more hard done by than anybody else, okay? There's people who have started rags to riches stories. They've hustled their way through life and they've had a nine to five at a point, a lot of people, and then they become successful. They become multimillionaires because they put in that extra work, okay? And now the thing is with Airbnb arbitrage specifically, is the work required is not labor intensive, okay? You're working with your brain. You're finding properties. You're analyzing a market to calculate the demand. Then you're finding properties. You're running the numbers based on how much the rent is and how much you expect to make per month on renting the property out, okay? And you can go deep into the data, but you will never truly know until you do it with a property, okay? So there are properties, you know, that will hit the ground running. There are properties that you will start with and you'll realize you maybe need to change a few things or they won't work out for you and you'll get out of them. Okay, fine, that happens. But you have to try, okay? You have to, you're not gonna become rich. You're not gonna leave your nine to five by doing nothing. You have to do something. And if you are interested in Airbnb arbitrage, it is a small time commitment compared to the returns that you can make, okay? Now let's get into running a property. Say you have one property that you're Airbnb. You may think that you have to be available 24 seven. Oh, what if somebody messages me, blah, blah, blah. Nobody's expecting a response on that minute. No guest is expecting you to be sitting by the phone waiting for their message. In fact, they don't think you're a big company operation. They think that you're one person with maybe a second property that you rent out. So you aren't expected to respond that second, okay? And actually, to keep on track with superhost status, you have to respond within 24 hours. So you actually have a 24 hour window to respond in. But even if you are working your nine to five, don't tell me that between the hours of nine and five, you are not on your phone. Don't tell me that your phone doesn't come out, that you're not messaging anybody, that if your wife calls you and there's an emergency, you're not gonna be able to be there, okay? Everybody has their phone on them. Anybody can respond to a message. And the thing is, with Airbnb, when somebody books that property, they're in there for one day to a month. They, people might book there for a month. And when you get those types of bookings, usually there's not a single thing that you need to do while that guest is in the property, okay? Unless something went wrong, which is unlikely, okay? Because the house is made to be lived in. So you usually have 30 days of nothing to do. You're just going to be market researching, trying to find new properties, trying to sign on new properties. And I think this business model, okay, I went into it all in. Okay, I got four properties at once. I hit the ground running, okay? And that's because I was working online for myself at that time when I got started. But if you are in a nine to five, I think this is the perfect business model for you because you're not going to rely on that income, okay? You're not going to be, you know, under the hammer, stressed, thinking I need to make money, I need to make money in this property, you're actually going to be able to roll over what you make into getting new properties, build it up until it replaces that nine to five income. And then you can leave that job completely. You're now remote and you're just focused on scaling your Airbnb business. Okay, that's the ideal situation to be in. But having that comfort of a paycheck while you're growing your Airbnb business is an ideal scenario to be in. So don't be under the misguided illusion that it's going to take up all your time and it's going to be so hard to do and time intensive. No, what you put in, you will get out. So the hours you spend on research will benefit you, but that can all be done in your own time. People have a tendency to over-exaggerate how strenuous a task may be or to overdo a certain task. Okay, if something needs done, you get out your laptop, you do it quickly, you, you look into it, you just get it done. Okay, you don't need to sit and waste time and go, oh, but what about this? What about that? What about this? No, find the information, run the numbers, and then go ahead and move on that property or don't or find something else. 
but make your moves quick. There's no need to sit and hum and ha and spend all this time and, 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 oh, but what if I do this? What if I do that? No, don't get caught up in questions. Start putting in actions, see what works, and then get your results from there and then go ahead and grow and, and start that side hustle. Get that property on, on Airbnb, arbitrage that, that property or buy it a property as an investment if you have the money if you are in a good nine to five and go ahead and, and and start your journey with airbnb because once you get two properties three properties what you're doing is you're repeating the same processes okay so it's nothing new running two properties running 10 properties is no different it's they're all the same okay and so scaling becomes very realistic and very easy to do so I would 100% recommend it for anybody with a nine to five that's looking for a side hustle. And don't be deterred thinking, oh, I have to do this extra work because that's how millionaires are made. They do the extra work. They don't do the same thing that everybody else is doing. Okay? So get that into your head. Guys, if you're interested in starting Airbnb arbitrage, I do have a course. I do have a one-on-one -on -one mentorship. Click the link in the bio and you'll find everything over there. Okay?